All right, guys, the, the timing on this one is, I don't know, just weird because recently I've been drawn to the Unimatic brand and Exquisite hit me up and said, hey, we have a collaboration exclusive with Unimatic. We want you to do a video on it and release it at its launch. And I was like, yeah, 100%, because I was already looking at that brand. I wanted to pick one up. Now, I was more drawn to the Titanium one until I actually got this one in hand. Fairly certain I'm just going to pick this one up. There's only going to be 100 of these. So it's already speaking to me because limited edition, 100%. love limited edition watches. I love that exclusivity. Whether it ends up being real or not, like with a Seiko when you have 8,000 watches, I still like the fact that it's limited and it's numbered. In this case, there's only going to be 100 of them. And it comes in this very heavy-duty case. It actually has the exquisite timepieces logo on the top. Very cool. So let's get into the watch. And like, obviously it goes without saying, big thanks to exquisite timepieces and the crew over there, Nick and Tim and everybody, for working with me and getting these watches over here for me to check out so I can share them with you. Now let's take a look at this. Very cool and exclusive, rare, limited, I guess. At the very least, it's limited edition Unimatic. This is called the U1S-ET Exquisite Timepieces. So this is number 46 of only 100, and the case on this is DLC Black. So diamond-like coating, very strong, very durable, gonna be scratch resistant. I don't have, I don't even know if I have any DLC black watches. So I'm excited to add one of these to my collection. And if you're interested in one, you're gonna to wanna to swoop it up very quick. I'll put a link down below. You're gonna to have to get it directly from Exquisite is uh, where you need to go. Okay, case on this, 41 millimeter. The bezel's 41 and a half, nice size. Lug to lug, 48, you can see the Mid case profile there, nice and sleek. This is considered the slim case in the uh, Unimatic lineup, which is, again, one that I was really focused on uh, checking out. So thankfully they did that. It has drilled lugs, so you can swap it out if you want to put a different strap on the watch. It comes with the two NATOs, uh, but I'll probably end up putting some sort of vulcanized rubber or something on that. Um, thickness. 13 millimeter, so that's good. You have a double dome sapphire crystal up top. You have a solid case back. I will show you that because it is unique to this particular model. 22 millimeter lug width here, and you have a very nicely oversized eight millimeter crown, keeping the 300 meter water depth rating once screwed in. You have a 120 click bezel on this, and you have a fully blacked out bezel insert. I'm not 100% sure of the material used there, but it's very cool, very stealthy, but it still has the marks. So it doesn't look so uh, fashion or design. It's still hard to see them, but they're there. Uh, extremely crisp, tactile feel to that. You have that orange pip up there indicating the 60. It lines up perfect. And uh, like I said, incredible coin edge there, both on the bezel and on the crown. You have nice crown guards. Inside, Solita SW200 movement. So you are going to get the Swiss movement in this. Some of the Unimatics are going to use the Seiko movement. And those are, I think, going to be the thicker cases. They can go with a slim case once you go to the Solita movement. So that's uh, that coupled with, I've had the best luck with, honestly, Swiss movements over the Japanese movements overall. Big you know, big picture, but uh, I've had good luck with all of the movements in general. These are made in Italy. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can get a closer look at the finishing on this thing. So you have a very cool sterile layout there with the oversized triangle at the 12, the oversized maxi circles, and then the rectangles, of course, at the other cardinal positions, the three, six, and nine. You have a really nice hand set there framed in black with the orange being the minute hand. I'm a sucker for orange. It pulled me in. I'm not going to lie. So a Unimatic made in Italy, 300 meter, 1,000 feet. Very clean, well done dial. Nice finishing. 
All right, let's take a look at the case back. You also have their uh, straps are, you know, labeled and everything. They're very high quality straps. Here is a look at the uh, case back. It is numbered. This is number 46 of only 100, and it is labeled U1S-ET, and you have some other information on the back there as well. We can actually, since we're uh, taking this strap off, why don't we go ahead and put the orange one on? The orange one gives it a heck of a pop of color. It still has the black hardware to match the rest of the uh, watch. But if you want to be bold with your black watch and put an orange strap on there, there you go. Ties in with the um, the pip and the uh, minute hand and everything like that. Very vibrant, very bold. Uh, retail price on this, $1,150. I don't think you're going to see any deviation from that, being that there's only 100 of them. So pretty sure they're all going to sell at that price point. The loom used on this is going to be C1 Super Luminova. These will be launched, again, snapshot in time for when you watch this video. But I will post the video at the launch, which is going to be February 16th at 5 p.m. Central Eastern Standard Time. So here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Get that out of the way so you can kind of see it. And I know the orange strap is very bold, but you still get the whole point. Like I said, I probably won't wear it on the NATO straps. I'll probably end up putting it on some sort of like vulcanized rubber or FKM rubber or something like that. That's just my style, but I'm digging the watch. I, I've been researching Unimatic and uh, looking at all the different models for probably a good month now. It's just so bizarre that exquisite timepieces happen to launch this right when I was at the height of my research with the brand. So I'm going to go ahead and take that as a sign. Let's kill the lights and check the loom. Excellent loom. And we have the orange loom that we're starting to see on a few other brands too. So it's really cool to see it. Again, here used on the pip and on the minute hand in conjunction with the C1 of the green loom. Love the look of it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Exquisite Timepieces and the crew there. Link in the description. Tell them I sent you.